Our second guest is Mike Butcher, who is the senior editor at TechCrunch, and will be chatting on ways that Nigerian startups can get better support to grow. So Mike, tell me, uh, how important is innovation into this world? Absolutely important. You can see from the entrepreneurs and startups that we have here at TechCrunch Battlefield Africa here in Lagos, Nigeria, that they are addressing real problems for, on, for uh, uh, agriculture, uh, for fintech, for payments, uh, for enterprise. Uh, this is a booming country and a booming continent. And the issue is are that uh, entrepreneurs want to address these really big problems. And they're doing it in a really disruptive manner using the tools that are available to them, to, uh, smartphone apps um, uh, in particular, um, and, uh, and enterprise applications for logistics, uh, you name it. How impressed have you been with the types of entries you've received so far? Fascinating. We've had hundreds of en entries for uh, Battlefield Africa. And uh, it all came down to only 15 companies, one of whom will win a $25,000 prize and the opportunity to pitch also in, uh, in, in San Francisco at uh, TechCrunch Disrupt. So it's an enormously cool thing for entrepreneurs to get on this stage. TechCrunch has 17 million readers a month. And so it's an amazing, um, uh, an amazing kind of, you know, light to shine on, on the ecosystem here in Africa. Startups from this part of the world obviously change the challenge of funding. How do you think that we can bridge this gap based on your experience? The, the, the bridge is going to be gapped really by angel, angel investors and also there's a lot of um, capital flooding into the industry from, from abroad. Uh, they can see that um, building new startups in Africa is absolutely important for the future. Huge market. Africa will be 2 billion people in the next few 10, 10, 20, 30 years. And so it's an enormous market that, um, that people really want to get a hold of. Um, and uh, the, there's a lot more experienced capital now. That's part of the reason why TechCrunch is here, because obviously, um, you know, we're here because we cover, you know, we've traditionally covered San Francisco and Silicon Valley, and now we're really internationalizing our coverage, and we can see that the uh, ecosystem here is really taking off. And uh, you can see that the companies are, are starting, the capital's coming in. Last year, over $500 million was invested in uh, startups in Africa, and it's just gonna get bigger. One interesting question I'd like to ask is, why did you choose Lagos? Well, we did uh, kick, kick off uh, Startup Battlefield Africa in uh, Nairobi last year, and we wanted to move again to uh, a new ecosystem. And obviously it was uh, obvious to us that we would have to come to Nigeria because of the, the size of the country, the sheer size of the, the economy now, the biggest economy in Africa. And so uh, it was an obvious choice. Finally, um, what, what next for TechCrunch in Lagos? What's next is uh, we'll be uh, finishing up the event here. We'll finally find out a winner out of 15 companies that have pitched today. Uh, they'll, that winner will win $25,000 um, equity free. There's no strings attached. Uh, they'll get to go to San Francisco as well and pitch there. And, uh, uh, and also it's an opportunity for us as journalists to find out more about the ecosystem here. It's our first time and we're super excited to be here. Awesome, thank you for the show today. We wish you all the best. Thanks. That's it for the show for today. Remember, we live on Facebook and Twitter at Tech Trends TV. You can watch these and previous editions of the show on the channel's TV YouTube account or via my blog, cfatech.ng. For Tech Trends, I'm Chukameka Agbata. <laughs>